Yo, yeah. this is Little Vic, rocking with Lifestyle Connoisseur. Keep it locked. Two thousand and ten is here. What can we expect from Little Vic? Uh, suicide mission, autopsy, euthanasia, critical. Uh, lots of joints, lots of production. DJ John John mixtapes, arena records drops, and maybe I'll dig up your mother body. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Next question. Uh, you've worked with Premier. You've worked with. Red Spider, you work with Cool G Rap, a lot of big names. Yep. How important are these big name cosigns to your career? They gave me the uh, the jump start. So to all MCs coming out, if you're scared to drop a little bread, then you shouldn't even be here. Drop a few dollars, get that shit done because you need it. No matter how nice you are, you give a fuck. Get some beats, pay for it. You talked about your Italian heritage and how proud you are of it. Um, with being an entertainer and now you have these shows like Jersey Shore and you have Growing Up Gotti who right. basically live up to stereotypes. How important is it to you to stay true to your Italian heritage and be a, a quality entertainer? Well, um, anybody who's Italian and uh, knows those type of people, they don't really bother us, the Guidos and, and all that, but um, people who overdo it in any heritage, no good for me. Cool. I don't think it's um, I don't think it's good uh, actually for, for your career to to be so one dimensional. So if you are overdoing it with your race, your, your race, your, your nationality, your um, even sometimes where you're from, it, it kind of puts a damper on, on the real shit, like your skill. So to me, it's important to uh, keep that stuff involve it with the music, but keep that stuff separate. Uh, you've already worked with some legends. Anybody else that you're trying to work with that you haven't yet? Uh, yeah. Um, working with... Well, I don't want to give away too much. But um, you'll definitely hear Buckwild collabs again. You'll definitely hear Primo collabs soon. Um, a few crazy MCs coming up. And um, like I said, don't want to get too much away in case these motherfuckers don't come through. Every, every MC out there you know, has a, a crazy story, whether it be on tour right. or whether it be in the studio or just meeting a crazy fan. Right. What is Little Vic's crazy story? My crazy story? Um, after, oh, how about we got jumped at my record release party <laughs> and we beat the shit out of some motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> no, but for real, it was the night we were coming up here uh, to do promote the mixtape. Um, uh, yeah, it was uh, a few, few dollars more. A few dollars more. And uh, we bounced the uh, release party. Walking out, we got jumped and we fucking beat the fuck out of some kids. Blackjack, knocked some kid out. And then we escaped and came here. So it was good times. Where was the release party? Uh, somewhere in Hempstead. I don't even know. I forget the name. But we don't have your release party in Hempstead. <laughs> and uh, any last words for the fans? Uh, yeah, hit up littlevic.wordpress.com for exclusives, interviews, um, reviews, um, any ways to contact us for beats, features, um, and that's it. And I am Little Vic on Twitter. Follow me, follow me to work. <laughs>